I like to use my iPad and iPhone for making simulations, but one of the biggest pains is having to transfer files off of or onto the iPad using iTunes. I have to zip up the files, and when I unpack it, I have to take it off the iPad. It is It, it never is particularly easy. Well, I just found this great tool called iMazing, which makes the process really simple and really easy. So I wanted to make a little video about that. So iMazing, here is just iMazing.com. Um, if you open it up, download, they have a free trial version, which is great, just so you can see that it works the way that you want it to. If I start running iMazing, I've connected my iPad. Now, what's neat is I've connected by wire, but once I've connected by wire, the next time I connect, I can actually connect by Wi-Fi. I don't have to use the wire. So that, that's pretty amazing. Um, and again, so what I want to really do most of the time is to transfer stuff either from my PC onto the iPad or vice versa. Now, iMazing also gives you a chance to back up your iPad, which is really, really convenient. So let's say, here I'm, I've, this is my iPad, I go into Apps, and I go to my Sims you Share, and you'll see here now I get a view that iTunes doesn't give me, which is the folder structure, which is terrific, because I not only want to be able to put simulations onto my iPad, I also want to easily take them off. So I go into the Sims you Share folder here, and you'll see I have a Sims folder, which is where the simulations I made on my iPad are. And all I have to do now is just go and have copy, and I can right-click and copy them to my PC. Similarly, if I want to put things on my iPad, I can go to where they're stored on my PC, and I can just go over here and drag, let's say I want to move a simulation like whatever this one is. I can just go here and just drag it right over into, let's see, so I want to drag it there. It copies the over. And it says here, okay, it already exists, so I'm just going to say replace it. But this makes copying things back and forth so simple. One of the really neat things you can do with Sims Share as well is the cache. And with iTunes, I can't synchronize my cache. So uh, remember, on, on iOS, I can't actually select pictures or audio. So what I have to do is to make a scenario that has pictures and audio loaded onto my iPad, and then I can use copy and paste and everything. Uh, to bring the sounds and extra pictures like tools and ladders. But with iMazing, I can actually replace my picture cache. So my picture cache, as you may recall, is something here, really interesting feature of Sims you share, where I can actually embed right into the menu things like here, a unit token. These are just static pictures, but I can set a category and have uh, have these pictures instantly recalled into any scenario. And similarly, I have sounds here, forest fire sound, and I can do that. So those are all stored in the pick cache folder. So I'm going to go on my PC, go to the pick cache folder here, and just drag it onto the area here. It copies it onto my iPad. It says there, and I'm going to replace it. And so now, my whole picture cache is available on iOS, which, again, really amazing because I can't do that using iTunes. So obviously, I strongly recommend that you go and get iMazing if you have an iPad or iPhone. Um, just um, barely, uh, this is the tip of the iceberg, but for me, it's extremely liberating. It does exactly what I need to do, and it's also very reasonably priced. I highly recommend it.